As Canadians take time to honour those who have fought for our freedom, we turn our attention to several symbols, the cross, the poppy, and for some, a traditional First Nations artefact, the painted robe. It's a piece warriors would create to record their battle deeds. In 1951, the Historical Society of Medicine Haddon District purchased one of these robes from a collector in the Cardston, Lethbridge area. What makes this one unique is that the, the warrior involved was a, a corporal with the uh, 50th Battalion of the Canadian Expeditionary Force. Uh, his name was uh, Mike Mountain Horse. And the uh, uh, battle deeds that are portrayed are um, battles from the First World War. Mountain Horse was born in the Fort McLeod area in the 1880s and was a member of the Blood Tribe. After going to school in Calgary, he became a scout for the Royal Northwest Mounted Police. He joined the military in 1916 after his brother Albert was killed. His, his brother was an officer with a militia unit before the war, uh, was one of the first to uh, go overseas and uh, was gassed during 1915, um, was sent back home but um, had uh, tuberculosis and died before he reached back home again. So um, there's an account that uh, Mike Mountain Horse wrote about looking down at his uh, brother's body and, and vowing revenge. Mountain Horse, like any historian, wanted to share accounts from the war with future generations. But McShane says the way he depicted these accounts was not in chronological order like some would expect, but rather in order of importance to him. One of the first events to see portrayed is um, uh, Corporal Mountain Horse going into a, a bombed out house. And uh, coming into the house, there were four Germans, uh, including one officer, that were in the basement of the house. And Corporal Mountain Horse called on them to surrender. Um, and so he started down into the basement thinking that they had surrendered when the officer um, produced a pistol and took a shot at him. So uh, Corporal Mountain Horse fired back and, and killed the officer. So that was uh, you know, a close combat um, uh, encounter, which is something that was, was valued among the First Nations and it was a, a killing a, a high prestige uh, uh, enemy. So that became his, 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 as he saw it, his most important exploit. Although the painted robe is a very traditional form of storytelling, McShane says Mountain Horse's use of the medium makes it a unique transitional piece. Between a, a traditional art form and a traditional storytelling form of the Blackfoot being used to, to convey events that really are not at all traditional to the Blackfoot to, to portray a European war. Following the war, Mountain Horse returned to the Royal Northwest Mounted Police and eventually went to CPR. He died in 1965, 14 years after the local museum acquired his piece, and his legacy now lives on. McShane says the robe became quite well known after being published in James Dempsey's book Blackfoot War Art in 2007. This piece came to the attention of the Canadian Museum of Civilization and when um, the museum in Belgium, the in Flanders Fields Museum, contacted the Canadian Museum of Civilization looking for pieces reflecting the First Nations experience of the First World War, they informed them that we had this piece. So, so this piece did travel to Belgium in 2008 for an exhibit looking at the different cultures around the world that, that took part in uh, the First World War. Since then, it's also been to Calgary and is expected to appear in the Royal Alberta Museum in Edmonton when their new gallery opens in 2017. For Go Southern Alberta, I'm Christy Pick.